Taylor, Janae with Palin Projects here, and in this video, we're gonna be planting up my elderberries. So I ordered two Adam elderberry, Adam's elderberry plants, bare root from Stark Brothers this spring. Um, I have the details because I can't memorize them all. Um, but this is a zone three through nine plant. Um, a pollinator is needed to bear fruit. Um, and I think specifically it needs to, yeah, it needs to cross pollinate by a different variety is, t is key to its growing and bearing success. Plant one of these varieties within 100 feet for the best pollination. So I do have a black lace elderberry that it might cross pollinate with. We'll see. Um, or if I have to get another elderberry plant next year, we can probably do that. The description of this plant is a carefree beauty with edible appeal. Vigorous plants have glossy green foliage and in May they develop large white flower heads. If not harvested first for, for fritters, tea or wine, elder flowers develop into exceptional large fruit clusters in the summer. Fruit contains a high amount of vitamin C and has better consistent quality than wild elderberries. It's cold hardy, ripens in August, best pollinator is any other elderberry variety. Um, so that's kind of a brief description of it. Um, I'll put a picture of the uh, clusters up on the screen so you can kind of see them. Um, I've heard of a couple uh, recipes uh, for like colds and stuff like that that use elderberries. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'll be harvesting berries and then possibly the flowers as well for teas and stuff like that. Um, I'm not expecting these plants to produce this year because um, they are bare root and they're smaller, um, but in years to come. So um, in the next few years, I expect major, major production. So let's get into planting them. There's the second one that I planted and the first one. I had to put a cage around that because the dogs were running it over already. So um, cages around it and watered in so that one should be good and this one should be good as well. I'm um, taking a step back and looking here. So ooh, fireplace. Um, that's five foot, that's five foot and then um, this is Mm, probably 10 to just over 10 maybe 12 foot is the um, shed so plenty of space here for these guys to grow 
And there's Shelby being weird. She was playing in the water while I was planting. So now she's gonna roll. Um, and the arbor, so this arbor that comes over here, um, is gonna go over to our garden. So this should be a full sun location. Just got done planting them. Um, if you have any questions or um, any, yeah, questions, comments, um, put them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer. If I, um, I, I don't have much experience right now because all I have is the black lace elderberry. I don't have the atoms growing on my property. So um, if I don't answer your comment or your question, um, I'll come back to it in a couple of months or maybe a year uh, from now so that um, I can answer that and have a little bit more experience. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you in the next project, guys. Thanks. Bye.